one remark. I'm not, uh, I will say, ChatGPT expert. I want to share my own experience, how I use ChatGPT as a product manager as a, and as a head of product. So this will be my presentation today. Uh, my name is Tomek Tomaszewski. Uh, for the last five years, I worked as a head of product in Senti1, also as a product manager for uh, AI chatbot uh, platform, Senti1 Automate, where we build a platform for enterprise uh, companies that use this platform to automate customer service with uh, chatbots and voicebots. I'm also the author of uh, Product Craft newsletter and Product Vision podcast. My specialization is uh, product discovery, finding hopefully uh, uh, new product for market fit for the new products and building high performing product teams. Uh, but uh, I have also one fun fact about me uh, and one new superpower that I gained three days ago. I am 35 years uh, old and I have my driving license. <laughs> I pass my driving license exam on Friday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was my first attempt after 15 years. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. All of my journey with AI started uh, in 2022 uh, with my holiday, two weeks holiday. Uh, to uh, together with my girlfriend, we go to a one month uh, holiday to, uh, to Italy. Uh, two weeks of holiday, two weeks of uh, workation. And uh, yeah, I was a head of product on Senti1. I have a lot of responsibilities as always uh, in startup, in scale up. So just simple out of office message will not be enough probably uh, if I'm uh, not in, the, in, uh, in my role for two weeks. So I decided to do some cheat sheet, some document that I list my all responsibilities and who will take care of it, who will replace me during these uh, two weeks. But this was only the first part. I decided also to build my own chatbot, Virtual Tom, uh, my virtual assistant that will replace me for these two weeks, of course. Uh, of course, it was more like a like funny experiment, uh, but yeah, I, tr I, I, I want to build it because, of course, we created a chatbot platform, so it would be a great exercise to, to build some funny, funny chatbot. Uh, this, this, uh, what this chatbot could do, uh, answer the same question that it was in this cheat, cheat sheet. But yeah, the, the, the most important fa uh, fact was to um, build some awareness of this kind of thing that I can build and we could use some kind of chatbots on our Mattermost, it's like a Slack uh, in, in Senti1 company. Of course. Of course, uh, someone wants to make fun of me. <laughs> what if virtual tone will be better? But like I said, it was like a, um, like a change, nice change because people was start to be aware that it's possible to have this kind of virtual assistant uh, uh, in our chat, uh, chat platform like, uh, like Mattermost. Uh, I built it using our own platform, Sention Automate. I will show you a little this uh, bot. I didn't thought that I will have my mic microphone, so we'll see how it works to write also. Okay, this is a place that I can write something to this bot. So for example, hi, uh, he will answer, hi, who are you? Who are you? I'm assistant to the head of product. Uh, <laughs> and of course, he is here to help us. Uh, we can also, of course, uh, ask about, for example, where is uh, where is roadmap? Because people always ask about it, even if it's uh, pinned to the Mattermost channel. Roadmap, yeah. So very simple answers. Yeah, the same with, for example, release notes. The same with uh, other stuff. I can ask also about the um, people who, who is doing what. So I will ask who is. Tomasz Tomaszewski. I'm not working in Senti1, so I will see how it works. What they wrote about me. Okay, Tomek is not working in Senti1 anymore. It's true. <laughs> 
Yeah, so it was the simple simple uh, chatbot. Uh, our platform used AI for uh, NLU for intent recognition, but not for generating uh, responses. But what was the most important thing here is that, uh, yeah, when I come back uh, after my holiday, I decided, okay, uh, people was very happy about it. So let's try to do something more with this uh, bot, how it could help me with my work. So for example, we have onboarding process. As a head of product, every month I need to say welcome to uh, new people in Senti1 to share more information about our product, what we are doing, what is our vision, so on. So I decided maybe Virtual Tom, as my assistant, could do it. So uh, I create some simple onboarding process so everyone who joined Senti1 could start this simple onboarding uh, using Virtual Tom on Mattermost. So I will uh, simulate that I'm a new uh, person in Senti1. I will write uh, in this form. So okay, let's start onboarding session. Are you ready? Yes. And this is very simple, yeah, process with the information. I will not go to the details, I mean, not, not, not go to the details, but you see how it works, yeah? Information about our product, I can say that I'm working in, I will be, I will be working in lesson products, so more information about the lesson part. Do you have any question? No. Of course, I have this uh, real onboarding after that, but it was some new case how I could improve my uh, chatbot and how it could help me with this onboarding process. Uh, more uh, useful stuff, for example, invitation for sprint reviews, yeah? Uh, our Scrum master takes, uh, uh, every two weeks needs 20, 30 minutes to make some invitation, think who should be invited personally for our sprint review, uh, to list all uh, all the information that we will, pre all the demo that we will present during this, uh, during the sprint review, 20, 30 minutes uh, of his time. But thanks to uh, Virtual Tom, Virtual Tom started to do that. And uh, Maciej, sorry, this is in Polish, uh, he wrote me, it's great because he needs only to write, Virtual Tom, please prepare sprint review invitation. And it worked well, 20, 30 minutes uh, saved. Also the same with sprint uh, summary, yeah? So some few very simple process that automate some of my work and my teamwork so we have a little more time to do the more important stuff, I will say. But of course, in uh, 2023, at the beginning of 20, 2023, chat GPT uh, race in our internet uh, landscape. So as an AI enthusiast, I think, okay, I need to, I have my own chatbot, but of course I need to test it and I need to check how it works and how I can uh, use ChatGPT in my own work as a product manager and head of product. Of course, I decided to dig uh, for the information using Google, using LinkedIn, probably uh, find out this kind of information. Still, this ChatGPT prompts to get 10 times more product work done than your colleagues, yeah? And this kind of thing, yeah? How it works, this kind of tips? For me, it doesn't work, yeah, unfortunately, because it, the, the responses were very general. So this is why I decided to take different approach. I'm very big fan of concept of uh, ultra, ultra le learning. It's uh, some a nice concept about learning new thing. Of course, you need some kind of theory. You need to practice this theory, but you need to practice this theory as much as you can uh, during your normal work day, during your normal normal day. And this is why I came up with uh, my challenge. I decided to hire ChatGPT and decided to use ChatGPT for 30 days in all of my tasks as much as I can for 30 days. This is, uh, the, the, these are the rules of this uh, challenge. Uh, so I use ChatGPT to help me with everything I do as a product manager, even if it takes me more time. I use ChatGPT Plus. My colleagues know that I use ChatGPT, but they didn't know which specific things were prepared by, by ChatGPT. And of course, I haven't used ChatGPT for sensitive data. And of course, during these 30 days, I use ChatGPT in many, many, many different areas, but 
these are, I think, the eighth uh, important uh, one. And I decided, okay, I, I will do this uh, challenge. And after 30 days, I will decide in which area, from my perspective, from my experience, uh, ChatGPT works in an impressive way, and I want to stay with uh, ChatGPT as my assistant in this area. What was okay, uh, some use cases are good, some use cases are not good, and in what area, for me, ChatGPT wasn't useful. What do you think? What, what area was the most, uh, no, uh, that, that I was most disappointed? Writing code, okay. What else? Competitive analysis. Competitive analysis. Product decisions. Product decision, okay. Uh, today I will present you four use cases uh, and four real use cases, how I use it. First one is preparing backlog and user stories. And Marta say <laughs> that it works great for <laughs> preparing backlog and I have very different experience. <laughs> Of course, there are a lot of prompts how to how to prepare backlog using uh, user stories. These are the most common one in the internet, and this is my real use case. How I use it, for example, in chat in our platform, we want to build integration with Oracle da database because yeah, chatbots sometimes need some data. For example, for Oracle database, we don't have this uh, integration. So this is uh, this is the prompt for. ChatGPT. I'm creating a product with the following features. Can you help me write user stories from this information? And yeah, I even describe problem, solution, what is the output output of uh, of this solution, and these are the user stories. I also, of course, use uh, the second prompt, and. I go to my team and ask what they think about it, about these user stories. What do you think? <laughs> they say, of course, that this is a disaster and they don't want to work with me anymore <laughs> if I will go with this user story. Of course, uh, this is some you know, example. Uh, I try to use ChatGPT to, in many more cases, using backlog, uh, trying to cre create backlog. And I totally agree with Marta that in uh, if we want to, for example, use Gherkin language or any other framework to create user story and check uh, if the user story is aligned to these uh, requirements. It's great. Also some useful stuff that I found, found for example, if we want to create product requirements document. Uh, also quite nice output of uh, output of chat uh, GPT. But yeah, finally, I after one month, I. I never use ChatGPT for that uh, again. Yeah, uh, maybe this is situation with my team because we have some, as always, special relationship. We know we know how to communicate with other. We don't need so much documentation, for example, in task, in task description. So I will really, I will be, I will be really grateful to hear your experience how ChatGPT works with chat with uh, backlog management. But for me, it doesn't work uh, at all. But I was really impressed, impressed how ChatGPT works for uh, helping me with communication and everything related to communication, how to create some summaries, some uh, posts, some communi internal communication in our company. And I also share with you two examples. Yeah, The first one uh, is situation, as always, with Twitter. Uh, situation with Twitter, one second. Here is situation with Twitter. Twitter, uh, last, it was, I think, a year ago, they changed how other companies could access to their API. And it was very decision, very, very rapid decision. Suddenly we saw that, okay, you will, will not have access to Twitter API because we have a plan that cost, the cost of this plan was about $2,000. Uh, $2, and after these sudden changes, it was forty thousand uh, dollars monthly. Yeah, uh, the problem is of course very big for our company. Uh, so we create war room, we make some kind of decisions, uh, we prepare documentation for our customer support. But at the end, I need to inform our company what we will do, what's our uh, approach for that, and what's w what is the situation. Yeah, so. 
it was it was during my challenge, so I need to use ChatGPT to create this <laughs> information. So yeah, this is the prompt. You are a product manager of Sention Automate product, prepare Slack communication uh, about recent Twitter uh, changes. Here is the input from my uh, site. And the output was quite nice. I saw that there are some, some information are, are lacking, so I decided, okay, so please chat GPT, add me information about uh, something that bots will stop working if you don't have uh, enterprise plan, uh, API enterprise plan. It improved this uh, communication. Also, uh, I saw that chat GPT don't highlight our decision, so explicit, I add information about uh, our decision to influence how it this uh, information will looks like, yeah? And it w looks very nice. But of course, I need to send it on our public channel, and I don't have any complaints. Yeah, so it was quite amazing. This is, of course, one of the example, and really, after these thirty days, ChatGPT helped me a lot with any uh, communication that I uh, need to prepare. The second example is creating executive summary for our investors. Mm, Senti One has uh, has, of course, investors have. Uh, shareholders, so we need to, every month we need to prepare some executive summary for these shareholders. This is a real email, so this is why it's in Polish, but uh, Ella uh, write that she will need this kind of summary. Uh, I need to prepare it every month. Uh, some new things in product, what change, what is our uh, vision, uh, but definitely what changed during this month. Okay, this is, around 20, 30 minutes work to check our release notes, to check what we, what was really released and what, and at the end, improve the language to be more, less technical and be more, uh, I will say, investor specific. Uh, so, it was during my uh, ChatGPT challenge, so I need to use ChatGPT. What I did, I all, uh, just copy all the release notes, add some, very simple uh, prompt, please prepare me executive summary for our uh, investors. And this was the result. This was the executive summary, but what's, uh, what is more important, this is the response from our board uh, of Senti1. They said that the summary is great and it fits uh, ideally to, uh, to our stakeholders and investors. I, of course, they didn't know that I use ChatGPT. And last one, product decisions. Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, but I will, see, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, product decision. Uh, one also use case. One of my product manager, or maybe I will start with a different point. Uh, we use NPS to, uh, to rate what is the satisfaction of our clients and users. NPS is maybe not the best way to measure it, so we want to change it and try customer satisfaction score or uh, customer effort score uh, to, ch to, 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 to try to check it how, how, what is the satisfaction. But uh, my product manager, listening product manager, okay, uh, she was responsible for this change, but she needs to think what question we want to ask to uh, our users. So she came up with two ideas how 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 it look how it could look like how it can looks like to customer satisfaction score. And ask me, Tomek, what do you think about it? What it will be better question? It was during my challenge, so <laughs> I say, I don't know. You need to ask ChatGPT. And this is how it looks like. And really, ChatGPT is great when you say what framework, what concept you want to use and ask about some kind of help. Uh, and it was great because he really um, suggest what will be the better question and why. And I, I will say that I agree with that. After that, you can always ask about uh, ideas of better questions to the uh, customer satisfaction score. And you have a lot of inspiration for that. And the same if we want to ask in a different way, like using uh, customer efforts. Uh, score uh, to, to, to check it. So in the product decision, I will say that 
In some cases, it works well. In some cases, like this. In some cases, it doesn't work well. But it could be a great uh, inspiration for, for product managers. What, for example, question you can ask in your uh, surveys, but any other uh, question is the same. OK, so what was my final decision after 30, 30 days? It looks like this. Uh, we didn't come up with all of these areas, but like you said, most, uh, most of the areas that are related to communication, to creating some documents, creating some text, from my perspective, were, were, were great. And uh, we use it even after this 30 days uh, challenge. Key learnings from my side. This is, in theory, how my time looks like. Maybe you think that your looks the same. But reality often is more like that. <laughs> I, I think many people have the same feelings. <laughs> yeah, so many, uh, many, uh, many hours we invest in reactive or repetitive tasks. And thanks to bots, AI, automation, OK, at the beginning, we need to invest some time to build something, to learn how to use it. But after this 30 days, I say something like this. Yeah. So it was quite nice because I have more time to deep work, to strategy, to uh, discovery. And it's really my, really my, my story. The second uh, key learnings uh, is about working with ChatGPT. Uh, prompt is not enough. <laughs> Prompt is, of course, important, but what is more important, I like to think about ChatGPT like about my team, yeah? If I want to delegate something to my team, I can't only do, I don't know, prepare some simple user story. I need to prepare some context. What is my goal or the company goal? What are our acceptance criteria? Yeah? It's the same with ChatGPT. We need to prepare this kind of context if we want to have good results. So. Your input is very important when you want to work with ChatGPT. The second part, uh, conversation, uh, it's always, like you said, in this, like you saw this in these examples, uh, none of this example, maybe one, was uh, first time prompt, yeah, that worked great. It's like a conversation. And the same with your teams, yeah? If you have user story, you are discussing this user story with your team, yeah? And the same with ChatGPT, and of course many of these uh, many of these use cases, uh, the final result of this uh, use case are more like an inspiration for you or first version of something, and it really needs uh, a little human uh, touch. Yeah, and uh, be aware of that. Yeah, <laughs> this is. Mistake that I mistakes that I made a lot of time, but yeah. Just be aware of that. <laughs> if you want to see the full uh, case study, uh, it's on my blog. It's totally free. Uh, you will see more examples, more uh, use case uh, with my real uh, yeah examples. Uh, just scan this code or go to bit.ly uh, slash case study dash chat GPT or just to go to productcraft.pro. It's one of the featured uh, article. And thank you very much. I hope you have a nice case study here.